Welcome to part six. It's been a long day and a long evening. Welcome to part six of this uh, series. Let's jump right into this. We're going to be covering now Galatians. We're going to be in Galatians chapter one. And those of you who have tuned in just say, wait, did you just say part six? Which, if you saw the title of the video, it was on part six, but that's okay. Yes, we're in part six. We we covered in part one. We put. Uh, one, we did Old Testament. Two, we did Matthew and Mark. Three, we did Luke. Uh, part four, we did Acts. Part five, we did Romans, First and Second Corinthians. Now, in part six, we're going to be in Galatians now. So, turn your King James Bible to Galatians chapter one, uh, verse eight. Chapter one, verse eight. For for he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. And when Jesus, I'm sorry, when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. Uh-oh, see the difference. Only they, we talk about Peter and Paul and who was Gentile, who was Jews. I don't know why that's confusion, but that's another story. Um, only they would, that we should remember the poor, the same which I also was forward do. I don't know why I was going to go to 11 on that. But when Peter but when Peter was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face because he was to be blamed. That was the argument. I'm not sure why it went to 11. But clearly we, again, talked about preaching and the apostles and this no one here is a woman that I can see. I don't know why. Hold on. I don't know why I'm reading this. This is not... I am sorry. I am in the wrong chapter. I'm like, wait a second, I'm not understanding, but I'm like, yeah, there's no women in this, and I'm looking, that doesn't make any sense. Chapter 1, and I was in the wrong chapter reading the wrong verse. Chapter 1, verse 8. See, everyone can make a mistake, but here's a lesson to be learned, though. When you make a mistake, and you may be in error, and you slipped up, what do you do? You take accountability. You admit when you're wrong. You don't get angry, and it's like, well... I, well, it could mean, and try to play it up, I was wrong. I was in the wrong chapter. I made a mistake. You own up to it. You ask for forgiveness. You move forward. All right, verse 8, chapter 1. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. Brethren, 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 Paul to the brethren. No women are involved in this scripture. All right, 16, verse 16, chapter 1, again, King James Bible. To reveal his son in me, that I might preach him among the heathen. Immediately I confer not with flesh and blood. Women, none. Really simple. Doesn't take a lot to figure this out. Two. I know that's talking down to people. Like, no, they're just talking down to people because they don't understand. No, I'm, I'm not going to talk to those who want to preach that women should preach. It's not a thing. Ephesians chapter... Uh, I once worked with a guy one time, and his favorite saying was, yeah, uh, that's not a thing. That was his response when somebody did something, something like, so the, uh, yeah, uh, not a thing. That's not a thing. I never heard that saying, that phrase until he had said it. It was kind of funny in a way. He goes, yeah, that's not a thing. But anyways, all right, chapter 2, verse 2. And I went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel 
which I preach among the Gentiles, but privately to them which were of reputation, lest by any means I should run, or had run, in vain. So again, we're not talking to women at all in the scripture. All right, Galatians chapter 3, verse 8. In the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. This is talking about, this scripture obviously is talking about preaching, but uh, those who, who, um, those who believed and are justified is really what this is uh, talking about in this chapter and it touches upon. So that is what we're talking about there. Again, no women preaching at all. All right, chapter 4 in Galatians, verse 13. Ye know how through infirmity of the flesh I preach the gospel unto you at the first. That is, uh, again, Paul. Um, I had referenced this, uh, that kind of that scripture one time. I was had, had a blister at work, and uh, it was killing me on my toe, you know, at work. And I'm like, I, I'll stand there one day, one day, last week. And I'm like, oh, man, this blister's killing me. And then it dawned on me. Yeah, Paul was in prison. And you're complaining about your blister? Think about that for a second. We have to. <laughs> Paul was in prison. And your blister hurts. You got sneakers on. Or boots. Well, I didn't have I have boots on, but not sneakers. Um, he had sandals. Yeah. We always complain about our infirmities, and they don't even come close to what they had to deal with back then. Chapter 5, verse 11 in Galatians. And I, brethren, brothers, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? Then is the offense of the cross seized. Again, we are talking to the brethren, not the sisters, the brethren. Okay, that, that is Galatians. Let's check this off. Um, well, I don't have my marker on me. Oh, oh, that's a pen. That's interesting. Oh, here it is. All right, we have now covered Galatians. Check that off. Now we're going to do two verses in Ephesians. If you already jumped, you already saw it. It's only going to be two verses in Ephesians that we're going to go into. Chapter 2, verse 17. And came and preached peace to you, which were far off, and to them that were nigh. See, well, you just like, just isn't there more to it, Stephen? Because you just did that verse. And notice how, though, you can use that. And came, preached peace. Take that, add it to all the scriptures that are generic, without context, and you can justify a woman without actually reading the whole thing. But again, we know in this particular chapter, it was about uniting, uh, pulling together Jews and non-Jews, and this was, uh, again, nothing to do, it was Paul, this was nothing to do with women. Now, this is Paul. All right, chapter 3, verse 8. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Again, no women are involved. That's powerful, but just let's touch upon that for a moment. The least of all saints. Paul always recognized the, the negative that he did and, and the sins that he had committed against people. Uh, and, and imagine the fact that uh, God can forgive that. Jesus, I, I just, it's just amazing that he, a person can be forgiven. What a powerful, powerful God. All right, that, that covers Ephesians. Now we're going to hit Philippians. There's only one of Philippians. Philippians chapter 1? Yeah, 1. Chapter 1, verses 15 through 18. That ye may be blameless. For... Or 15, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. This is not to women. Holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yea, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy. And rejoice with you all. For the same cause also do we ye joy and rejoice with me. Wow. 
This is about men. Now this is the, uh, uh, referring to um, a Christian's obligations, for lack of a better word. All right, so that is Philippians. Let us now go to Colossians. And something is wrong off my marker cover here. That's weird. All right, Colossians chapter 1, verse 23. Colossians chapter 1, King James Bible, verse 23. If ye continue in the faith grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. Paul. Paul. I'm talking about what Christ has done, not a commandment for women to go preach. That's not what this is. So let's not twist it. All right, verse 28. Whom we preach, warning every man, and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Let's finish off the verse. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. Show women? Mm, no, not there. People are like, uh, dude, why are you so negative? Not negative. It's just scripture is scripture and it's clear. Let's not put our own spin on things. Read the words of the Bible. All right, First Thessalonians. I almost said Thessalonica. <laughs> First Thessalonians, uh, where are we? Chapter 2. 2 verse 9. Paul, and this is uh, remembering or recalling his visit. Um, where are we not? For ye remember, brethren, our labor and travail for laboring night and day, because we would not be chargeable unto any of you. We preached unto you the gospel of God. So this is Paul uh, and Sylvanius and Timothy. And they're talking about the, uh, 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 to the church of Thessalonica. Um, I'm stumbling my words because I'm trying to, Make it you know, really simple. It has nothing to do with women. There you go. That's, I don't know why I'm trying to find the perfect words, because the perfect words are... This is to men. We're talking about preaching as, as according to men. All right, First Timothy. So we're going to get into the Timothy section now. Are we doing Timothy? No, we are not going to do Timothy. I just looked at my board. So that... Yes, I know it's a little shorter than the other ones. That is the final of that one. So that's six now. We are done part six. Um, again, thank you for tuning in as always. We have one more to go. We're going to have one more part coming up. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to you watching that video. And we're going to be ending in the next video. There's a reason why I broke it ahead of time the way I did. And I'll explain that to you in the next video. God bless and I'll see you in the next video.